the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings. Greetings.
For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. 
I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Since your brother is leading our forces south, and I'm going with the Arl, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmer. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon.
the evening, my lord. Good evening, my lord. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mavari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Good evening, my lord. Bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Shall be done. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here?
like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> I've seen larger. They come up from the Kakari wilds sometimes. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. We, we will serve you while the Terran is away. We'll be up very late tonight so the Arl's men can be given proper quarters. Shall be done. Good evening, my lord.
Good evening, my lord. My dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? You are here. Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Don't worry, my dear. It won't be long. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon.
Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? The very family in whose castle you live? Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Wonderful! Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? The records are vague, but the Kuslans became Tyrns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kuslan organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their tear. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During your grandfather's rule, of course Orle found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlay? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. True, but if you expect to rule simply on writ, you'll find yourself ousted by a coalition of angry Arles. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion. When all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the Turnier of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Kalanad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. Perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't myself all this one to you.
is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. <laughs> Greetings once again, my lord. Lady Landra has been very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, your mother has no ladies-in-waiting herself. Is that usual for a noble woman of her rank? You are very kind, my lord. I'm nobody special. You make me blush. My family has been in service to hers for many years. Lady Landra elevated my place as a reward for our loyalty. I hope this position might pass to my daughter. Forgive me, I shouldn't have mentioned her. Her name is Amethine. Her father died of a wasting sickness two years ago. Thank you. He is with the Maker now. She does. Many people say she looks a great deal like me. I'm the only one who sees her father in her. I have risen very high for my people. I would not tempt fate by wishing more. doing just that? What else did you have in mind? I... I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, my lord? Until tonight, then. going to be a war, Papa. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. 
I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffin's only existing stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. Not that father would ever allow it. Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Oh good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Your hound is making so much noise. He seems so angry. I thought I heard yelling when I woke up, but now I hear nothing. I'm gonna see if someone's in the hall.
very well. outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? The scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howe's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howe's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. Find him. I most certainly will not. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. some things here, darling. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk.
Very well. No! My little Oren! What manner of fiend slaughters innocents? Is not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. grandchild is a ravaged corpse. What do I care about danger? The front gate. That's where your father must be. I have my treasury key. We could go there first and take the Kuslan sword from the vault. If anything is worth fighting to keep out of house hands, it's that sword. But it may be a dangerous path. Those men are inside. They must already control the castle. We must use the servants entering the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then survive and visit vengeance upon him.
fooling! I'm getting out of here! Yes, my lord! Here... Here they come!
We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Use that key I gave you. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. I shall do it. out as long as you can your ladyship my lord you're both alive I was certain Hal's men had gotten through when I realized what was happening it was all I could do to shut the gates but they won't keep Hal's men out long if you've another way out of the castle use it quickly when I last saw the town he'd been badly wounded I urged him not to go but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. 
Make her watch over. Make her watch over us all.
There, you both asked. I was. Bryce! Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding! Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. If only Will could make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Fergus. Tell him what has happened. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find your healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid this turn is correct. House men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I fear your thanks are premature. I doubt I have saved him. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirner and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you... sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm... so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Kokari Wilds. The Deventer Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious.
The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. News from the North has been unreliable. What's happened? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Oral Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. How could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. We are all in danger, my friend. Nothing can be done until your brother returns, and that will not be until the battle is over. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me. No sign of an archdeep. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we see no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. Yet a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. No, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. You heard what the King said. He is scouting in the wilds and beyond contact. Be patient. He will return. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to.
Make a watch over you, my lord. 